Thursday's workout. Wednesday was nice and slow and controlled, and now we're going to pump you up once again. We got three portions for today, warm-up strength and wad. I'm gonna start explaining our strength portion. We're gonna do four sets, bump. Windmills, five to eight reps. That has to do with how much weight you have. And renegade rows, eight reps. If you're doing one push-up or two push-ups, that has to do with how, where your push-ups are at. Okay, and then our wad, We're gonna do four times. We got weighted jumping squats and plank tucks going side to side. I'll show you what this looks like. You're gonna do 21, 18, 15, 12, nine weighted jumps and 10 plank tucks every set. So 21 jump squats, 10. 18, 10 plank tucks. 15, 10. 12, 10. Nine, 10. So your plank tucks are raised 10 and your reps for your weight jumping squats are going down by three reps. All right, let's talk about how the windmills are done and the wad and then I'll go over the warm at the end. So the windmills, you take your weight, dumbbell, hopefully you can, if you have the opportunity to warm up with a lighter weight and then go heavy, that's great. If not, then just take your time. This is trained shoulder stabilization as well as oblique and lat strength. So, arm up, toes point the opposite direction. Other hand slides down your leg as you look up at your hand and then press up. My arm stays perpendicular to the ground the whole time. If you can go heavier, do it and do less reps. That way you get more out of this workout. And then, toes go the other way for your other arm. Your elbow shall never bend. Those are your windmills. Five to eight-ish, depending on what kind of weight you work with. This is 15 pounds. I would probably, me personally, use somewhere around 25, 30. Your renegade rows. Now, just gonna give you a couple options because I understand that we're working with different equipment at home. So most of us probably have one dumbbell. Therefore, I would like to do all eight on one side, then all eight on the other side if you're working with one dumbbell. That will look like this. Take your feet two, a little wider. You're gonna do your push-up, come up, row. Push-up, row. Push-up, row. If you're so lucky that you have two dumbbells, then you're going to alternate. It will be 16 push-ups total. So it will look like push-up, row, push-up, row with the other arm. That will be one rep. You're doing eight. Maybe your push-ups aren't as strong and you have two, then just do eight push-ups total versus 16. If you come to class, don't worry, I can help you work through all this stuff. Now, what if you're like, but coach, all I have is a kettlebell and it's really heavy. What do I do? No worries, I got you. Bam. When you pull up, you're gonna get like a chair or a couch or a box or an ottoman. Grab your kettlebell. And you're gonna do all your push-ups as one set and then all your rows is another set. So do your push-ups on the ground. When you finish, you come up. And then you're able to still get your rows in while you're planking. We don't want our hips to twist as we do that. That will be called cheating. This is a core test. So four sets alternating between windmills and renegade rows. For our workout, we do jumping squats. If you have a barbell, put it on your back. Like that. If you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, hold it in the front. Okay, those are your weighted jumping squats. And your plank tucks. I'll show you the forward first. Plank, go to both feet, go to one side, center, other side. Center. That was 
two reps. Every time my legs go to the side and back, that's one. So when you do 10, that's gonna be five each direction. Okay, from the side, it looks like this. Always try to return back to that plank position. So you're not doing this. Right, so really try to go flat, side, flat, side. Okay, let's go over the warm up now. Okay, we're gonna do two rounds, 20 seconds of each station. We got cat cows, thoracic rotation one side, thoracic rotation the other side, tabletop shoulder taps, toe touches, overhead walks, and a tempo air squat. Okay, cat cow. Arch your back, chin up. Round your back, chin in. You're going back and forth. 20 seconds. Thoracic rotation. Put your hand behind your back. Twist. Twist down, then twist up. 20 seconds doing one side. 20 seconds doing the other side. Tabletop shoulder taps, toes underneath. You're gonna lift your knees an inch off the ground. Hold that flat. Don't let your back move. You're flat as a table. Someone's having hot tea on your back, and you're gonna try to move your arms, tap your shoulders without letting this happen. So you're really testing your abs there. Toe touches, stand up wide, arms out. Hinge back, touch one toe, hinge, back and forth. The more rotation you can get, the better. Overhead walk, you're gonna grab your weight. It's gonna be 20 seconds on each arm. So hold up your head, walk around your room. And then the next, row, next station, other arm, pressing up, rib cage in, walk around your room. Tempo air squats, I just basically want you to move slow motion for 20 seconds. Slow, 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 knees out, tight, 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 tight. Two rounds of that, 20 seconds each. Have fun, see you at class. Mwah.